completely scratch built. I'm not just like this bridge is scratch built. It's so you started with just raw materials, right. cardstock, and uh, the railings, and, and designed this thing, and uh, pressed out an industrial building. It's like a, a mining town or something? Or, or what? This is uh, a mining refractory. They go back into the mountains, way past this bridge, and they wore it out and bring it through the bridge, enter the building down, it's crumbled up and put into other freight cars, and on it goes. All right. On its merry way. On its merry way. How do you feel about this? I mean, you obviously devoted a lot of time, 14 years of your life. I love it. I just thoroughly enjoy creating. It's a lot of hard work, uh, but I have these dreams and these pictures in my mind that I want to create, and, uh, you know, find what the heart can do, and then do it with all your might. Bar, great having you here. I gotta go build the bridge. I gotta sweep. Thanks, Bruce, so much for showing me around. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, how do I get back where I came from? I think, I think. Uh, I think it has something to do with this hat. Whoa. Ah, uh, I get it. I just took this off and said hat. And I'm back. Hmm. You that can take you anywhere you want to go. And I know something else that can do that. A good book. So here are three that'll flip your lid. You don't have to take my word for it. Some people like hats. Some people like gloves. But the person who wrote this book likes shoes. All kinds of shoes. And guess what the name of the book is? Shoes. This book is a poem, all about things to wear on your feet. There are shoes to slide in and run in, shoes to turn a double flip in, shoes for fishing, and rubber shoes for muddy splits, and lots and lots more. You'll love this book, or my name is in Garrett So put on your favorite shoes and run right down to the library right now. Want to watch him. It's terrific. It's about a man who sews caps and carries them on his head. He's a funny little guy. He walks around town slowly so they don't fall off his head. One morning, he can't sell any of his caps. So he decides to take a nap alongside a great big tree. When he wakes up, the caps are gone. There's some mysterious monkey business in this story. And the pictures are marvelous. I like this book because it teaches you not to fall asleep on the job. So put on your cap and pick it up at your local library. Hi, are you interested in meeting some very unusual characters? Well, there's a couple in this book. It's called Maybelle's Suitcase. Mabel is a 108 year old woman. And Bingo is a bird who lives next door. 108 Mabel years old? Famous for making unusual hats. Some of them are a little weird. Mabel and Bingo work together on a terrific hat for the annual hat making contest. I'm Michelle Bird. And if you like funny stories as much as I do, you should read Mabel Suki. Now, here's my entry for the annual hat contest. What do you think? Okay, I think we should try one more of these hat tricks. Let's see what we've got. Huh? Trip on the ocean? Uh, too far away. Hmm. Never seen a hat like this before. What what it's for? Maybe some sort of two-sided helmet. Did you get? I don't have a clue. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I 
Should he be going by now? The hat's hey. off. Or the helmet. Yeah, Whatever it is. Oh, hey. Actually looking at something. I'm sorry I didn't respond but right away. I am currently watching. Yeah. Probably watch a little bit of that before I go to bed for work tomorrow. Um, childhood classic. Birthday.
Yo. Hello. Oh. Hello. How you doing? Uh, that was a different angle. Yeah. You recognize what I'm watching? Um. No. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Take a look. What's in a book? Rainy mm. rainbow. Exactly. Rainy rainbow. It's going pretty good. Um. No, I'm doing good. I don't know if corn pasta will get on the night. I sent him the uh, um, the live a few moments ago. You know what's cool about this set right here? It's the complete series. How many episodes was it? I think it's 155 episodes on four desk. Oh, wow. So, um, actually, we had to write down how many episodes. So, this one has episodes 1 to 39. Disc 2 is episodes 40 to 78. 3 is 79 to 116. 4 is 117 to 155. Wow. I God, this this show brings back so many memories. I used to watch it in elementary school, and of course, when it was on TV at the time. Oh, it's kind of funny too. Um, I saw uh, Levar Burton was doing an Instagram live minutes before I I came on here, and I was actually watching this. Oh. I think I even have Adam sign that for me a few years ago. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I did request the personalization, but uh I guess it was denied. Help all kids learn and grow with PBS Kids. Thank you for supporting your PBS station. <laughs> you probably just heard it just now what I'm watching. That's what I'm watching. Um, just a childhood favorite that I... Yeah. I think we can all say at the ages we are now, we grew up with that show. I mean, that show's been on for 40 years. Mm. I remember watching it. There was something about the song that was so nostalgic back in the day. Yeah. Do, do you remember um the show of Zoom? Oh, oh my God, yeah. Which I didn't, I didn't know until I think a few years ago. Was that um 
I'm assuming you're talking about the one that came on in the 90s. I, I had no idea that, that was actually a revive or a reboot to uh, the 70s version. I guess they did one back in the 70s. Oh, wow. No, I was talking about the one on PBS Kids. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's the one. Yeah, I used to watch that all the time. That and uh, uh, Mr. Rogers' name. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the movie? I loved it. I got to go see it. In theaters, and I just, I just thought it was, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, me too. With um, Tom Hanks in it. Yep. Do you like Space Jam Galaxy? I didn't get to see that one yet. I only saw the first one. Oh. Why don't know? <laughs> oh my god. Has he even came on lately, that guy? Uh, um, no. Why you say no? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Who is Michael? Who is Michael? <laughs> I don't know who Michael. Bad by who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stand by you. Stand by. I said, "Stand by you." <laughs> What's a spaceship? Is there episode one? Is there episode one hundred? God knows how how, how long he would he would have done that for. Probably would have gone up to a thousand. Oh wow! All right, what do we said? There's, there's only six episodes or or levels, and he just kept going. Was there seven, eight, nine? That's what I just. Oh, I, I just basically just kicked him out because he was just going to go on. I'm like, bye. He's a nice guy, but he's kind of annoying. Yeah. Didn't someone one time, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe 
I'm mistaken. Did, didn't somebody one time go on um, Born Pasta's Live naked or something a few years ago? Uh, um, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. What about? I am mistakenly. You've heard from him lately? No. Yeah, that dude was weird. Kept he kept asking me if I wanted to watch him twerk. Man, I don't want to watch you twerk. Oh. Yeah, the generation these days. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi. I'm good. good. I'm doing good too. Have you ever seen the new Aladdin with Will Smith? I did. I I, I thought that was all right. I, the uh, uh, the cartoon version was better. Yeah, I agree. I like the cartoon one. Yeah. Well, what movie is that? The Strangers. Oh. Getting uh, prepared for the brand new movie that comes out in uh, a week and a half. Oh. Yeah. Great. Totally great. Oh, well, okay. Oh, haunt. Um, upgrade to uh, Blu ray. Oh, I mean, a after yeah, like, the Barbie going movie was on earlier. Who? The Barbie movie. Oh, really? Yeah. It was on, it was on HBO. Uh, um, a Ouija, oh, cool. Origin of Evil. Um. Oh. You know what's even better than the Barbie movie? One second. Probably Mean Girls. Well, that's a good one, but, but uh, my Blu ray slipcover signed by Margot Robbie. Right there. Oh, wow, that's oh. cool. Authenticated. Now I, I like that one too.
So if you have, I've seen this one, uh, All Hallows Eve. Get to check this one out, Mischief Night. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then All Hallows Eve 2. Yeah. I've seen. I, I did see the new one. Connor, if, if I remember right, I think I did see part of it, but I didn't. I didn't see the beginning of it. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chucky. I pretty much seen all the Chucky movies, just except for the show on USA. Except for that one. That's something cool related to Chucky. Signed by Jennifer Tilly. Oh, that's cool. JSA cards, I still got it. I don't even know what I might keep them, I don't know. Oh. Oh, Chucky right there. By uh Alex Alex Vincent. Oh. Do you have a Chucky doll or no? I do. It's in my storage closet right now. Oh. oh. My favorite movie? Uh oh. Wow, it changes. Um. That's a hard one right now. Uh, I don't know what it would currently be as of right now. Mean girls. She's on the Oh, wow. Uh, Lacey Shabert. <laughs> Amanda Seyfried. And you're so you're so lucky with autographs. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of autographs, we're gonna be having another one's coming in just a uh, couple days. Uh, Hayden Panettiere, who was in uh, Screen Four and Six, she plays uh the character Kirby. Oh wow. Another one from. It was supposed to be a Chucky picture. 
but I don't know what happened. I guess they sold out of the picture. But I was uh, Catherine Hex, who was in the original, and they played the mother. Oh, uh, that, that looks like the seventh heaven picture. I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. I know she's from Seventh Heaven, uh, Beverly Mitchell, which. Again, oh, this one was supposed to be a Saw 2 picture, but, uh, they sent me that. But it's all right. I was That's a, it's something to add to the collection, at least. And, but yeah, the, the Amanda Seyfried one, that one, like, I'm, that's probably like my favorite one as of right now. Because... <laughs> She's a very big actress, so like she was like the last person you would ever expect to do any a private signing. What did I do today? I worked. That's what I did. He's been doing a lot lately. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Well, yeah, Alec Baldwin. Oh, that's funny. I'm actually currently watching a show at that this, this little girl is in. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, Vivian Lyra Blair. This was the photo from the Boogeyman movie. The show that oh, she's in heard of. watching it is a uh, Fatal Attraction. Do you watch any um, Lifetime movies? There's been a couple I actually really enjoyed. Um, there was this one that came on years ago with Candace Cameron uh, called No One Would Tell. I actually, re the last, like, I actually reviewed a, a Lifetime movie in my last update because uh, it stars one of my very good friends in it, Kristen Farley. It's called Gracie's Choice. That one was actually kind of cool. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I miss all the good Lifetime movies. Still can't believe I got this one. Ozzy Osbourne. That's probably the best picture of him. Oh, wow. I used to watch his show all the time. Oh, the Osbournes. Yeah. Lee Herman. Yeah. Mm, have you seen the holiday one? Yes. That one was pretty cool. Harry Potter. Wow. Was he from um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Mm-hmm. Is that guy still alive? 
Um, yeah, yeah, I actually got that recently. Oh. Got that in like two weeks ago. I didn't. I didn't talk to him today. Yeah, I didn't talk to him tonight either. And I think I'm, I'm gonna sign out for tonight. Okay. Tonight. It was nice talking to you. Uh, you too. Yeah. All right.